snapping his fingers. You shut up. Time to get two. You don't know what you think for. Time to four people to see each other. Why make me have to knock it out of you? Go for it, sir. Ted has spent all his school days right here at Blue Mount, and is now making up his mind about his future. Next morning, he seeks the help and advice of his teacher. Is it what your office said that it is worrying you so much? Yes, teacher. I just don't know what to do. But, Ted, the decision rests entirely on you, for your success is going to depend on your purpose for entering the profession. I'm so confused. Let me repeat. If you're going into this profession for what you can get out of it, then you had better not. For the importance and the true worth of the profession lie not in the amount of money that you are going to get, but in the opportunities that you're going to have for service, to help build and mold the lives of our people and to serve the community. It will demand long hours of work, sacrificing all your energy and vision, and giving your profession first place in your life. But on the other hand, no one will know the joy you feel when you see your pupils turn out to be confident and useful citizens. Do you remember that song we were learning at Choir Cracks the other night? To help a wandering child to find his way, to ponder o'er a noble thought and pray, and smile when evening falls. Well, I 
think that as teachers, that is our task. Thanks, teacher, for what you have said. You really helped me towards making up my mind. I will go to college. On his first attempt, Taylor is accepted as a student at a teacher's training college. The longer I live, the more I am certain that the great difference between men, between the feeble and the powerful, the great and the insignificant is energy, invincible determination, a purpose once fixed, and then death or victory. Next morning, Ted begins training for his profession. Good morning. Apart from attending lectures and practicing teaching, Ted has to do a lot of conscientious work on his own if he is to succeed. In addition, he takes great interest in other aspects of college training. Two years of his training have passed and Ted is paying his usual weekend visit to his cousin at a women's training college. Ted, meet Martha Johnson. Martha, this is my cousin Ted Williams. Hello. Hello. 
Thanks. What are you reading? Let me fetch you a drink. Jane Eyre, one of the set books. Oh. Do you know many of the students here? Oh, I know a few. Um, not very well, though, except for my cousin here. There. There you are. Oh, good. Ted has developed a great interest in Myrtle. They have been meeting quite often and have become close friends.
with Arsenal, Ted has other problems. He is worried that his position in the community seems to become less and less important. For example, he is not president of the Citizens Association as his teacher was. Neither is he catechist in the church. He is only a member. You, who would teach them? They need you, Ted. 
They need that gift of yours. Okay. I think about it. must have the guts to stay in the profession and continue fighting for what they want. Yes, Ted? back to work, determined to do his part as a builder of the nation. his rightful place. He realizes that though he is not the leader, he still has an important part to play by allowing the district to develop its own leaders while he provides guidance and encouragement. Just as Merv had said, a new school with all the accommodation and facilities he wished and longed for is built. The hardship he has been suffering are over, and Ted is able to put into practice a scheme for the proper development of his pupils.
to complete Ted's happiness and contentment, a new teacher's cottage is provided. Soon, the news of Ted's successes in the classroom and in the community is spread far and wide, and he is given a scholarship to an English university. You deserve it, Ted. You've worked so hard. Nonsense. I have to thank you for this. You know that. You know, I, I never thought Ted would get it. Uh, let's see where you have to leave. Ted will soon return to carry on the work he has begun. He realizes that like all professions, teaching has its problems. But his achievements are the result of determination and sustained effort. He is convinced that the profession lies at the very foundation of the development of a people. It needs men and women who are willing to dedicate themselves as builders of the nation. Yes. 